up on ESPN. In the span of four months, he went from no-name backup to nearly becoming the Super Bowl MVP. Now, the Cajun hero, Jake Daylight Come and Yugata Delon looks to pick up where he left off. Green Bay Packers, Carolina Panthers, next. Crowds of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. Hello and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm Dan Steele. With me, my knowledgeable associate, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this should be an interesting game. Both teams possess star-level defensive backs. Absolutely, Dan. These two are among the best in the game right now. And Lucas is a star cornerback. You know, for a defender, he's got great hands. So if a pass strays too close, you know he can come up with an interception. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer, Charles Woodson. He's a highly competent cornerback. I tell you, this guy's got a lot of horsepower. His speed enables him to lock down receivers and get after the ball no matter where it ends up. Well, better watch out because both of these guys have a chance to make some big plays today. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. It's heads. Number 16, kicking off. There's the, the signal, and we're ready. It's time for Panther football. Number 16 kicks it off to begin the game. Lucas fields it all the way back at the three. Right down at the 22. Ken Lucas tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Panthers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Holding number 50 defense five yard penalty automatic first down number 50 tries to contain his man on this play and ends up holding him that's going to draw a flag let's watch oh yeah easy call defensive holding I see you first Keyshawn. and 10 ball at the Panthers 27 yard line just barely passed the markers for a first. Jake Delholm is a good quarterback. Sixth year man out of Lafayette and a nose for coming away with a big play when the chips are down. He's got this job for a reason. He's got the skills to pay the bills. First down with two tight ends to the right. Seven on the play. Jake Delholm the threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now second they have a two. bunch of options on what to try Ball next. Panthers, 44-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Only gets back Number to the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier, Ronald McKinnon, with the tackle. Third and two. Ball at the Panthers' 45-yard line. Check 
Foster didn't haul Passes that incomplete. one in, and it falls Number incomplete. That will bring up fourth receiver. down. Aaron Cameron put the brakes on that play without any help. Man, he had that zone locked down. Baker gets ready to punt this away. Charles Woodson to make the return. Baker gets the ball and punts it away. Woodson gets it at the 17. Drag down at the 18. Charles Woodson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Packers will start this first play of the drive at their own 18-yard line. Henderson goes in motion. Second down. Chris Jenkins with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball at the Packers 19 yard line. Favre throws this on a roll and it's tipped. Incomplete. Chris Gamble managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Driver catches it left sideline and is at the 45. 35. Finally dropped at the 30. First down. Charlie Driver has hands to make the catch, but he's also got legs. Watch. There's the grab, and now the run. It's all about desire, baby. How bad do you want it? Peter, what a fantastic play. Well, I tell you, it looks like there's more than one way to make First the chain gang man. get some exercise. <laughs> and let me tell you, they could use it. Come on, fellas, put a little sprint in your step. Driver goes in motion. <laughs> Throws a lob here, and it's off. Incomplete. incomplete. Bubba Franks Bubba seemed to be Franks the right guy for his quarterback, receiver. but he's unable to catch that Dan ball Morgan over the middle. The Potential cover. for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. Second you can take ten. a shot in that situation, well, and it's really not going to hurt you. It's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Up our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. Third down from the shotgun. Chaw goes in motion. Bar throws a bullet here. And first the reception is made at the nine. And he stopped right there. It'll be first and goal. Robert Ferguson nabbed the football away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Goal. Well, then obviously, oh, it's a huge yard. boost, but there's still a lot of game left. <laughs> three nobody's going in our house second baby. and goal bro, bro, bro. ball at the three Green picks up a yard on the play and that will bring up third down on Green had watchers on his side on that last play but the defense was too smart Gave him nowhere to go. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game.
Third down, goal to go. Driver goes in motion. Green gets the call again, and he searches for a hole. Rips him down in the backfield, and that moves them even farther away from the goal line. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 16 from 19 yards, and they take the lead. Number 16 has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Number 16, kicking off for the Packers. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 16, booms a beauty here. Williams decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Locked down at the 22. Bobby Williams took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Panthers have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Foster picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Second and nine. Ball at the Panthers' 23-yard line. Foster gets the call again and rambles for about five. Ben Taylor with the tackle. Third and four. Ball at the Panthers' 28-yard line. Smith goes in motion. Malone throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught. Just barely short of the markers, however. It'll be fourth down. Steve Smith got out of bounds after getting some yardage, but you can tell that it wasn't as much as he wanted. Peter, they couldn't get the last few yards they wanted, yeah, and now it is fourth cool. down. Boy, a good call, but as you said, they just couldn't get the last few yards they needed. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker gets the snap and punts it away. Wilson fields the punt at the 26. Drag down at the 28. Charles Woodson got swarmed by the okay. kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Packers are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Barr floats it to the right side and it's complete at the 41. Hunted down at the 45. It will be first down. Check first that out. 10. Those last year numbers All are solid. 45 yard line. <laughs> Driver snaps the missile and first down tries to get free. Eventually tackled at the 29. First down. Donald Driver made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call first by the offensive ten. coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down, tight end to the left. McGavin gets the sack way back at the 34. Kevin McAdam sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalate. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. That'll be his first sack of the game. It's intercepted!
38. Picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. He gets the TV and a little congratulations from his teammates. It's well deserved, Dan. Here's the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Baker kicks this one away. Murphy fields the kickoff at the six. Tackled at the 23. Frank Murphy tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Packers could Green take Bay. the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 23-yard line. Barb rifles it out left side, and First it's caught at the 31. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. First Check out 10. the yards after the catch. Ball That's where a receiver can yards. earn his paycheck. <laughs> Anderson carries this one off to the right and chews up about four on the play. Second and six. Razor, razor. Ball at the Packers, 39 yards. Green is at the 15, runs out, and that will stop the clock at 110. It will be first down. Come on, Green makes a great play here, picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, then eventually runs out of bounds. Check it out. Nice play. He got what he needed, and then he headed for the sidelines. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. Great execution. First, first down, 10, 10 yards to go. Ball at the 45. It's intercepted. The ball's loose. The Panthers have stopped at the 45. Brett Favre is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it sings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's his second interception throw today, and he has looked ragged at some points, I'll tell you. Yeah, his timing's a little off. He needs to just settle it down. The Panthers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their 45-yard line. Alone. Zings it to the right side, and it's incomplete. Is incomplete. Michael Gaines had that ball Number in his hands four. on that play, and then receiver. he just dropped it. Potential for David a quick Terrell first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second, and ten. second down, two receivers to the left. 45-yard line. Foster goes in motion. Fumble! They get it back! Okay, guys, we've covered this before. You know the plan, you know what to do. Travell Wharton is going to keep his wits about him here and make a smart play. The ball's loose, but now he gains control. Good reflexes to recover from that bad play. Well, I tell you, they have been lucky today. <laughs> That is the second time they put the ball on the ground and somehow managed to scoop it back up. Yeah, credit that to field awareness. You got to know where the ball is at all times. Alone, life is this one hard over the middle, and it's caught at the 33, 10, and touchdown. Touchdown, Panthers. Goldberg 
has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turf. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. The point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Baker kicks it off. Murphy catches it back at the four. Tackle at the 16. 20. Frank Murphy got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. First the Packers fumbled the ball Bay. away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Green takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Second and seven. Ball at the Packers' 24-yard line. Ferguson goes in motion. Throws a heater right sideline and it's caught at the 34. Chase down at the 46. Brett Favre throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy That's about that play. Definitely quarter. great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Panthers enjoying the lead 14 to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome everybody to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Panthers have a pretty sizable lead, and they got to feel fortunate to have one. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Donald Duke and the driver emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. The Packers get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Packers midway through the second, this time at the 35. Number 38 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Touchdown for the Panthers. The Packers late into the second quarter, Packers losing by four. Julius Red Hot Chili Peppers would snuff out a drive on this one. It's a fumble. Here he is for the recovery. The Panthers still late in the half. Kerry Colbert was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 55-yard touchdown for the Panthers. Panthers ahead, 14 to three. David Martin had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers are up at the half, 14 to three. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there can be no question. Kerry Colbert has taken over this game. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Packers get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back seven, into this one. The they currently trail 14 to 3. Now let's get to the game. Number 35 fields the second half kickoff at the 11. Lockdown at the 29. 
Let's go down to Susie Culver, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach John Fox definitely was upbeat about his team's performance at halftime. He said, we've been getting after it and really executing our game plan. He added that they just have to keep their focus, maintain their effort level, and try to put the game in. Back to you, guys. Green gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. I'll come up for you Second play. and seven. The ball at the Packers, 32-yard line. The Gavin takes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Brett Favre has had difficulties, to say the least. And now, he's second-guessing everything he's thrown. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 150 yards and two interceptions. Third down, empty backfield. This one to the left, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Robert Ferguson got open on that last play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Landetta lines up for the punt. Landetta gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Lucas fields the deep punt at the 22. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Nice drive results there, and I like their efficiency. They've been putting the points on the board without a lot of wasted effort. Great job so far. Ken Lucas returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Panthers come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their 35-yard line. Foster gains eight yards, and that will bring up second down. Second down from the eye. Ball at the Panthers' 43-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Foster makes it for his fifth carry and heads out wide. Handled at the 50. That will bring up first down. Deshaun Foster played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Foster has his number called on first down and will gain close to six. Second and three. Ball at the 44-yard line. Foster has his number called on second down and will lose about a yard here. Al Harris not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit for a loss. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down with the tight end right. Smith goes in motion. DeLone really rifles this pass, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Forced out at the 23. Charles Woodson has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Packers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Henderson, carry on first down, and picks up a couple. The ball carrier, number 25, with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 21. Peppers makes a nice 
stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Yep, he's not going anywhere, Dan. Nice tackle. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Third down, one man down. Ferguson goes in motion. First down. Reels in the football and they get the first on third and long. Brett Favre makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Favre floats this one to the end zone, and it falls incomplete. Chris Gamble stayed so close to his assignment he could have taken his calls for him. With the <laughs> Incomplete pass. That would have been a touchdown, but instead the defense comes up big and forced the incompletion. Way to prevent the big play. It'll be second down. Green gets the toss and runs into traffic. Mon Green used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Far floats this one to the end zone, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Brett Favre throws a pretty chancy pass into double coverage. He's going to get picked off if he keeps throwing reckless passes like that. It's all about playing the hand you got. You see what your best cards are, and you use them. What an opportunity, but it stays as only an opportunity. That would have been a Number touchdown. Seven. That's like taking points off the board. Fourth down. Fourth down, goal to go. Number 16 with a 21-yarder hand. It's through the uprights. Right there. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, Woo. All day, yeah, baby. Number 16 kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches, and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. They'll take the three points, but they Number were hoping for seven. For but pressure. that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 16 kicks this one away. Lucas fields the kickoff at the 7. Bang down at the 30. Ken Lucas got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Panthers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Foster picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Watch the counter. Watch second the counter. and eight. Ball at the Panthers' 32-yard line. The lone fires this one over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Pass interference. Number 50, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Number Automatic 50, first slapped down. around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. First and 10. The ball at the Panthers' 37-yard line. Foster is at the 50. Finally gets out of bounds at the 44. First down. Deshaun Foster works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds.
First down, three wideouts in That's the game. The of the third and that'll do it for the third quarter. The Panthers are out in front, 14 to 6. First down, two tight ends in the game. If you want to play Undisputed 3 and... Foster takes his 10th carry of the game and gets the first and more. Eventually runs out at the 26. It will be first down. Sean Foster took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. Smith goes in motion. for a first down. Steve Smith goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man-to-man. -man. He was one step ahead of the defense. Foster gets the toss and runs into traffic. Runs out and at the four. Deshaun Foster takes it to the outside on this one, but comes up short of the markers. Let's watch. Yeah, that's a good gain on the play, but out of bounds too soon. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try second next. And inches. Ball at the four-yard line. Well, they can run, but they also have a go-to receiver in there. Let's watch. McKinnon tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Ronald McKinnon targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Ball at the four-yard line. Converts the third down. Deshaun Foster played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Foster gets the ball and searches for a hole. Cut down at the two. Come on, Carolina, bring it in. Let's Second down with a split goal. backfield. Ball at the two yard line. Games goes in motion. Foster takes up about two, and that brings up third down. Number 50 with the tackle. No prisoner. Third and goal. Ball at the one. Foster takes it off the toss and gets the touchdown. Touchdown, Panther. Man, this is a nice little run here. A good job of slicing through the D and picking up the yards that he needed. I love to see fight like that on those shorter plays. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TV stat at the end of every game. 
Now the extra point, and the extra point it's is good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Baker kicks it off. Murphy fields it all the way back at the 9. Stop at the 27. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. Frank Murphy tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. First and ten. Packers are down, but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 27-yard line. Favre just rifles this one, and he's on target for a gain of five. Number 25 with the tackle. Driver catches the bullet out left and gets past the markers for a first down. First down, Packers. Brett Favre throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best banging heads there. First down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Zings it to the right side, and it is not Passes reeled in. Complete. Incomplete. Bubba Franks was the intended receiver. Number 20. With Brett the Favre has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 181 yards and no touchdowns. Second down, 10 yards to go. Packers, 41 yard line. Lucas makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. And Lucas and then he got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Rifles this one hard over the middle, the and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down yeah. coming up. Lamar Marshall came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. I tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Hey, if you check out this replay, you'll find a few examples of how these guys earn their paycheck week in and week out, baby. And hey, there's no better way of earning a paycheck than knocking a few heads down there on the field. The Panthers offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. Foster barrels off his left guard and heads up field. Eventually shoved out at the 22. First down. David Terrell eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker. That one's going to hurt. First down, and they line up with three tight ends. Foster gets the call again, and the heads left. The Packers take their first time out.
Second down. The Second clock is eight. stopped at 134. generated on the ground. That is impressive. Fourth down in the field goal unit attempt. is on the field. Number 15, holding. Casey kicks it from 32 yards and has it sailed just left of the upright. John Casey misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but... Close only counts in horseshoes. The Packers start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 10. Ferguson snags the dart right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. And that will That's do it for regulation. tonight's game. The Panthers come out on top, 21 to 6. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Panthers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Charles Woodson is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Packers, after getting an interception, the Packers with the ball at the 23. Brett Favre would find his target on this one. That set up an easy 22-yard field goal. The Panthers answering right back. Panthers out in front by eight. Deshaun Foster find an opening here, and he was off. They move ahead by 15. The Panthers have it after a turnover on downs. Deshaun Foster would get the carry here. Good blocking up front. It helped us bring him. Panthers up. 21 to 6. Brett Favre connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Panthers come away with a win. 21 to 6. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Deshaun Foster is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You showed your medal and you helped your team put this game away. What was the key to your success? This was a hard game for us today. Both teams put everything they had into winning. We were fortunate to come up with some big plays down the stretch, and that allowed us to come out on top. Chris, back to you. 
Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.